Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mr. Milton Harris himself. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was weak. I said good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, question. Raise your hand if you like to play video games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, raise your hand if you have kids who like to play video games. <laughs> now, raise your hand if you have a cell phone. Everybody's hand should be raised. Well, I have the product for you. My name is Milton Harris, and I'm the chief executive officer of a company called Gaming Generations. It's a, culture, it's a cultural lifestyle brand that promotes unique product to the next generation of gamers and other mobile users. We produce skins designed for your video gaming console, your cell phone, and other electronic devices. Our motto is remember, black and white is playing. Come step up your game with gaming generations. <laughs> now, when I appeared on Chronicle last year, I was in the 11th grade. Today, I am a senior at the Jeremiah E. Burke High School in Dorchester, and I am a proud member of the Build family. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. I grew up in Roxbury. On the day I was born, my mother was arrested for drugs and sent to jail. Both of my parents were addicted to drugs and alcohol, so I have been in custody of my nana since birth. I moved around a lot as a kid. At the age of seven, we were evicted because my cousin was caught with an illegal firearm. By the age of eight, my nan and I lived, moved to a shelter where we lived for two years. Living in a shelter with my nana wasn't easy. My mother was incarcerated. My sisters were in foster care. I went to four different elementary schools and were bullied at every single one of them. I used to cry to my nana and tell her, I don't want to go to school. I'm not sure if I was how I looked, but bullies seemed to always target me. In middle school, my grades weren't great. You see, I struggled in math, and I was just OK at history and English. So <laughs> I started to express myself through drawing. In ninth grade, I started drawing what I loved. Sneakers. That's also the year this family build became a part of my life. I heard about Bill when their staff came to do a presentation at my school. They said Bill was the perfect opportunity to do two things, make money and go to college. <laughs> I thought about creating a business that had to do with sneakers. And so, I was all in. In ninth grade, students get to pick a team. Well, that part was easy. I found new friends who shared the love of video games and who was also into drawing. We became team gaming generations. It meant a lot to me that the team decided to use my artwork for our product. Our first prototype, it didn't go as well as we thought it would, but what we did do was we stuck with it, made some changes, and we nailed our second prototype. Eventually, we expanded our market to include cell phones and other electronic devices. We also met our mentors, Colin and David. Colin made sure we was always focused, and David had great stories to tell about being in the military. <laughs> we thought they were a little weird at first. <laughs> But the more time we spent with them, we realized that these men were really cool and they really cared about our success. My biggest takeaway from ninth grade was learning how to communicate. I didn't like to talk to anyone because I figured no one would like me. And I didn't have the confidence to start a conversation. But with the help of my build teacher, Mr. Coleman, and my mentors, I started to express myself with more confidence. 
Whoops. <laughs> In 10th grade, my mentors, Colin and David, returned to work with us for another year. And gaming generations only got stronger. Build made it easier for me to participate in other activities such as art and sports. They also provided tutors and homework sessions so I could stay on top of my schoolwork. Eventually, I became more invested in my grades. 11th grade was really special. I got to appear on TV on Chronicle, as you see. Build opened up a business incubator at the Burke, the first of its kind in the city. The incubator is a space where I get to work on the growth of my business in a nurturing environment. The mayor and the superintendent came to Build for our ribbon cutting, and I was a keynote speaker. <laughs> You see, Build allowed me to use gaming generations as a way to grow as an artist and an entrepreneur. Through Build, I could actually sell my art. So I enrolled in a studio art class just to become a better artist. Not many people get to apply their passion with their business model and grow their love for both. Before Build, people didn't pay any attention to me but now I get to capture their attention and yours with my art. <laughs> my art teacher, Miss Rodney, says I am one of the best artists in the entire school. She even had two of my pieces put on display at Boston City Hall. Well, you see, the truth is, I suffered a lot of loss in my life, and Build has reshaped the way I think about those losses. Right before I started high school, my cousin lost his life through an act of violence that's all too common in my neighborhood. He got stabbed at the age of 16, and I'm entering high school afraid, scared that I could meet the same fate as my cousin. As soon as I joined Build, though, I lost that fear. I knew that I would be successful in Build and that the issues my cousin faced would never even have to cross my mind. You see, growing up in Roxbury, you get sucked in, and most kids don't get an opportunity to thrive. When I started at the Berg, many kids were getting bad grades. To be honest with you, my grades weren't good either. I had a 2.5 GPA. <laughs> but thanks to Build, I have a 3.16 GPA. I have Bill to thank for providing me with many opportunities and with the confidence I needed to take advantage of them. Today, my goal is to attend Rhode Island School of Design, in which I will be studying illustration and fashion design. <laughs> Then, I want to go on and get an MBA to blend art with the business aspect. I can now say with confidence that I will go to college and I will be successful. I will follow my passion and I will provide for my family. <laughs> Build is like a prototype for life. It teaches kids like me on how to achieve success and how to win. You see, winning is not about winning a business plan competition, nor is it about making profit for your company. Winning is about living the life you live, living the life you choose, instead of the life you settle for. And in closing, I want to say thank you to Build, thank you to my mentors, and thank you, everyone, for believing in me and teaching me how to believe in myself. And a big thanks to my family, and especially Nana, for raising me. Thank you.
done, Milton. Well, well done. Thank you so much, Milton. You may be seated.